So this is the front end pre-treatment section of the Hazer process. We use methane from a biogas wastewater treatment source and it's treated through this part of the Hazer plant, which is then a useful feed gas source to be fed to our reactor. The methane feed source, that's now pure methane, flows along the pipeline into the first stage heat exchanger. This then provides the preheat before the feed gas flows into the reactor. The reactor has got a fluidized bed inside, which is the graphitic carbon. The pure methane feed source is fed in. The catalyst is hoisted up from this gantry crane here and is then tipped into this hopper here. This is where the catalyst then flows down into the transport vessel on the lower levels and is then injected into the reactor. At the temperature and pressure inside the reactor, that methane cracks apart into hydrogen and carbon. That then feeds out of the top of the reactor back through the first stage heat exchanger into the second stage heat exchanger where it is cooled and then is fed to the graphite handling and graphite separation part of the process. This is the top of the reactor. So the outlet gas here has the hydrogen and graphitic carbon stream. That then feeds through to the solid and gas separation unit to my left here. This is where the hydrogen and graphitic carbon is separated out into their respective streams. All of the produced graphitic carbon from the Hazer process is collected in this big storage hopper here. This is our graphite bagging station. So whenever that fills up, we bag out a certain amount into our cubic meter bags here, and then that's stored in the shed behind me. So at this point of the Hazer process, we've now separated out all of the graphite from the gas stream and have a hydrogen gas stream. The Hazer process at this point has the flexibility to operate in either a single pass or recycle mode. If we opt for the recycle mode, we have a higher conversion rate of gas as it's the unconverted gas is fed through the process in a second pass. That demonstrates the flexibility of the Hazer process and the data that we have to anyone that wishes to employ the Hazer process in a commercial scale. Thank you very much for coming with me on this tour of the Hazer commercial demonstration plant.